Hey guys, it's Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. We're back in Valheim, back in our build series, and today we are going to be starting a brand new build. So if you follow the series, you would have seen that the last couple of builds were quite large. And so what I'm going to do today is actually just scale things back a little bit. Go back to some of our smaller, well thought out builds that are really cozy. So what I want to do today is maybe just like a cabin in the woods or maybe like a woodcutter's hut. But we are in the Black Forest, so we'll see what we can do with that. But without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink. Let's get right into it. Okay, so... I want to have, again, like a cabin -y feel to this. So I do have an outline of plot that we're starting out with. Just so you guys can get a sense, this is five by nine, I believe. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah. Not a super complex plot to start out with. Again, I think we're going to make this build much more simple and just kind of, kind of a classic feel to it. Classic cabin feel, so let's just kind of, first of all, get in our floors, so, and do that quick. As always, I do love building in the Black Forest. I think I just, I love the feel. I love the, the ambiance and the vibe of, like, the, the, the large trees. Yeah, let's just do our best to just get our kind of foundation set here. Okay, so there we go. We got our floors in. I think this will be like kind of the base structure here. I think I'll have some balconies going along these two sides. Is that what I want? I think so. I think a balcony. I'm not sure how many floors I want to make this build. I think we'll just kind of figure that out as we go. But let's... You know what? Let's... Bring this out just a little bit. Alright, so there's that. Let's raise the ground just a little bit because I think some of these posts aren't actually touching the ground. So let's see if I can fix that. Okay, okay. I think that just fixes that. And then maybe we'll have some on this side as well. Okay, so let's just put some of these in. Line it. Okay. So this is going to be kind of like the, the balcony that runs out in the front. And let's build up the actual kind of bones of the structure here, so... Get our posts in on each corner. Make it mm, well, three meter, three meter posts, and we'll do some intervals like that. So we'll go two, one, two, two, and then something similar on this side. Two, one, two. Nice. Okay, let's make sure that all of these are three meters high as well. Okay, and now what kind of roof shape do we want? Um, I do want the roof to hang over a little bit over the balcony, maybe? Actually, you know what? Based on what I want to do, the roof, I think I gotta make everything. I gotta make the first four, four meters. So we're gonna do that. Gotta make all these beams a little bit taller here. So I'll put another two meter, two meter pole here. Might as well raise these up as well. These are gonna go higher because they'll go to the top of where that roof is headed, but. Let's see. I think I want the yeah. Let's this. I think for the roof shape, I want it to. Where do I want it to come? Maybe just that far. I do want it to overhang on the balcony just a little bit. So maybe we'll go with that. 
And then maybe we do another. We do another one at 26 and then angle up to 45. I'm sure. Let's do this half with that. And then maybe this half will go at 45 right away. And then maybe we can decide which one we like better. So, which. It's tough. It's what this one will. Up to there. Okay, I think I like it better when it stays flat a little bit longer or a little flatter. So we'll go 26, 26, 45. So let's stay with that pattern for our roof shape. Yeah, okay. I think that works. Need to have some posts on the interior here as well. I guess we can move these around later, but we'll do this for now. Let's make sure we have enough support going up. Again, it's not going to be, a, I don't think, a super complicated design here. I think we're going to go for a much more classic look. Just get the rest of these beams in here. Okay, so here is just kind of the preliminary roof structure. Let's see, how might we want to add to this? We want this to kind of open up this way as well. Yeah, maybe we could do that. I mean, what would that look like if we... Pushed it through though. Maybe to the other side here, we could kind of mirror that. What is that? What does that look like? Does that look decent? Okay, yeah, I think that might look okay. What, maybe we have like a. Small balcony out here as well. On each side. Did that work? Okay, yeah, so maybe it comes out a little bit like that. This will continue to connect on the top. Probably have to get rid of these. Uh, hmm. Will that work? Is that gonna collapse? Yeah, so that's not going to work because this has to be another floor here. So let's get rid of this. Put in the beams for this next floor here. How is this going to connect? Oh, okay, so this will go that way. I gotta build up another support beam here. I gotta get rid of these ones. Okay, so that works. Honestly, what I might need to do is I might need to bring in some of these iron beams. Alright, let's try to brace these a little bit more with some of these iron beams here. See if it, that'll give us a little bit more support. Did that help? I think it did, actually. That's much more stable than that side, so... Let's move these over as well. I think that should help some of these. Let that stability look now. Okay, so this is a little bit better now. I think we should be able to connect these. With 
without them falling apart. That should work. Connect these there. A half step in here. And then I'll flare out this way. Okay. I think I like that shape. Let's throw a little bit of overhang here on the trim. Alright, so that looks a little bit better there. Okay, let's close up with some more beans here. Same on the other side. Yeah, and then I'll put some a beam here on the end as well. Kinda wondering if I wanna kick it out with a little one meter beam like this, just flatten it. Maybe. We'll see. But let's just get this in for now. Okay, awesome. So we can really kind of see the structure taking place here. What I think I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do a little bump right here. I think maybe this is where I'll put the door. So instead of putting the door in the middle, I'm just going to put it off center. Right off here to the side. Do that. Yeah. Yeah, thing like that. So that this will be kind of the walkway in, kind of a traditional, traditional shape and look to it. But I think it'll be uh, well thought out and well executed, hopefully. So we also have to plan out where the fireplace is going to go. Okay, so I think the fireplace is obviously going to end up somewhere over here. It could be it could be a smaller fireplace, I suppose. Yeah, I just want to plan out, make sure we account for where the chimney is gonna go. I guess it'll go there. We just line it with some some beams. Plug up those holes there. Okay, let's kind of line it a little bit farther here. I'm trying to figure out how big I want this fireplace to be. Could do something like that. But is that going to allow the smoke to filter out? Like some of it will. Not all of it, okay. So we could do that. Stack this up all the way, like there. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah. There we go. So this will be our where our fireplace will go. Just want to make sure we account for that so we don't forget it. I feel like that's uh unnecessary part of any any force build here okay so that works let's let's go ahead and just put in our roof I think for this build you know I've done a lot of the dark wood like shingles for some of them I think I'm gonna go back for the thatch I'm gonna do some thatch uh, roofing for this build Sometimes I feel like the thatch actually looks kind of nice. It looks kind of cozy. Uh, it's a little bit more primal, but maybe that kind of works in a build like this where your person who lives here is, you know, hypothetically in the forest, probably like gathering their materials and maybe have built this. Um, is more kind of like a rugged uh, cabin. So let, let, let's go ahead and use the thatch here. Could use the corners for this one. The inverted quarters. See there. Yeah, I think the thatch just gives a little bit of a warmer feel too. Uh, I think the the dark wood can be kind of cold sometimes. Looks like a much more expensive build piece, and sometimes these more primal uh, build pieces can have a, a a cozier feel. I think. 
Okay. Throw in some of the rest of these 45 degree ones. So I might have a little bit of a hole right there. It's actually okay though, because it can, can actually look kind of nice just having little tiny windows up here. So I'm going to do that. Maybe seal these up, yeah. Just be tiny little windows there. Okay, I don't mind that. We will need to figure out how exactly we get up to this floor though, so... Let's build some kind of stairway here. Where can we fit these stairs? You know what, we gotta actually figure out, before we just do the stairs, I just lay in the floor up here just to see kind of the spacing of it all, where it's going to all extend to. Okay, so the stairs gotta go up that way somehow. Uh, mm. Maybe we use the steep stairs on the back side here. We can fit it in through here. You know what? Yeah, maybe that's just what it's uh, what it's gonna have to be here. Okay. Yeah. That took a little bit of reworking, but uh. I think this is how we will handle it. Then we can get up to this next floor. Perfect. Let's get rid of some of these beams because I don't think we need them. Okay. Okay, that should work. Uh, well, first actually we need to get these poles on our uh, front porch. So let's do that. Actually, I suppose this should extend out one more, shouldn't it? Alright, so yeah, we're gonna push this out one more meter so it actually covers this kind of porch that wraps around. That's gonna go out there. So it does make this not totally symmetrical, but I don't think I mind that, to be honest. Not everything has to be symmetrical, I think it still looks okay. I don't know if I want these log poles. I think maybe I'll just gonna keep it as wood poles. My plan is to use log for the actual walls themselves, so gotta make sure I'm balancing the materials here. Yeah, okay, we'll go kinda match the, the posts of the house here. So okay, let's push this out a little bit farther as well. Since this is the entrance, let's go ahead and put in our stairs. Alright. So there's that. I'm just wondering, should I bring out this roof farther? Yeah, I think so, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna pop this out a little bit farther here. And just so we're not wasting space, we're gonna shift this stairway back, like a half spot or whatever that would be to make sure we're not uh, wasting that there. So let's that, throw in this, and then we'll throw in our wood ladder here. Hopefully that still works. Don't think we'll get blocked. All right, perfect. Yep, that works. Um, okay, so we don't need this. Let's get rid of these. Okay, nice. Let's... I'm gonna create maybe some fencing here. Use some of the cage wall. 
Or is that what we want to use? Yeah, maybe. Okay, you know, yeah, we'll use it. And then around on the side as well. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we definitely gotta create some some pulse here. Oh, interesting that this actually doesn't want to snap. Maybe we'll down that. that snap there. Okay, there we go. Okay, that'll work for the side here. Let's go ahead and finish some of this fencing. And actually, I need to get some of these floorboards in. And then let's push this out a little bit with some of that trim. All right, there you go. Just give it a little bit more of an overhang. That looks nice. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure. I think I just fill these in. Some wood, to be honest. Just keep that simple. All right, and then maybe we'll do some, again, I guess we'll put some trim on this part of the roof as well. Give it some depth. Same thing to this other side here. Nice. Do I push this out at all? The side with just these, maybe like a one meter beam. Uh, let's see. What does that look like? Okay, I think I do like that. I think that makes the roof look a little bit nicer. So let's do that on both sides. It kind of completes the shape there. Alright, nice. Yeah, I think that was the right decision. I, I, I do like that. I wonder, can I throw a little... Give me one of those. Let's see, and I wonder, could I throw a little... One of these in here? Is that gonna look weird? It looks okay. We'll just... Throw a cap on it like that. Or let's see, can I... Hmm. Does that work? Okay, I think I can do that, actually. But I don't have, like, the little prong sticking out. I don't think it'll stick through on here, either, so... I think I prefer that. Let's just, let's, let's, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Actually, should I get rid of those? Yeah, we'll get rid of those. It's not as busy up top. Okay. Um, let's start getting in some of our walls. So, like I said, I want kind of that cabin feel. So, let's use the log beams to, uh, do that. I want to make sure I'm leaving some open, open areas for, uh, windows as well. Maybe on some of these sections here. So, you make the windows kind of, kind of large. You could do that. Let's see, how can I work this in here? I don't like that actually. Gives us uh, a little bit more depth there on that window. Let's trade in some of these longer logs where we can. Create a couple of just like window shutters here. All right, let's just get the rest of these walls in where we can. You gotta kind of fit them in right there. Okay, there are just a couple of small areas right here that need to be plugged up, so we'll do that. 
Here, let's make this fireplace pop out a little bit more. Try to frame this a little bit better. Maybe we'll use some wood beams here. Okay, I'm gonna try to make just like a little more artistic framing of this with the wood posts. So I'm just gonna rotate them in just to create some thicker pillars here. Okay, so it looks a little bit better. Try to create like a mantle. Okay, let's try to make this mantle a little bit more curved. Okay, so I think that frames it looks a little bit better. Let's go ahead get the rest of these walls in. to it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe instead of having like, those carved, carved pieces. Again, I think we want to keep this kind of like a simple feel, right? Like, it shouldn't be super fancy for someone who's just living out here in the forest. You know what? I want to open up this, this balcony a little bit on this side, so I'm going to remove this tree. And... Just a little bit of a curve here. Sorry, I know I was doing the walls, but I had an idea and I wanted to uh, run with it here. Yeah, I want to run you know, just like a little bit farther on this side. Not even that far. Yeah, there we go. I think I like that. That'll be kind of interesting. And I'm gonna open it up here. Yeah, so this porch is gonna open up more onto this side, to this kind of curb section. I think I like that. So I think this is kind of a nice view of like the forest and mountain. So let's do that. Yeah, okay. I think I'll like this. So let's roll this out here. Oh, actually, to be honest, it's not centered here because this oh comes off one more, so maybe we gotta adjust that. Okay. Let's fix that real quick. And yeah, because that has to come out here for it to be centered like that. And then, yeah, stairs. A little stair walkway right there. Block this off, maybe I won't. Uh, I'm sure. But let's go ahead and finish up the walls here with some of the windows. These ones will definitely have windows, I think. I think we're just kind of doing more open window designs. Okay, let's go there. Mix up some materials. Alright, nice. And then let's just seal this up. Okay, nice. So we have all our walls in here. I'm wondering if I can... Do I need these? What happens if I get rid of these? whole thing fall apart up top think we're good yeah okay so far so good so I think we'll get rid of those because I don't want those kind of there near the fire oh well I guess we do have to do the window here on this side I forgot Ooh, actually what if we just did those for windows we just use the wood doors uh, I guess the thing is I'm just gonna block the uh, block the like porch balcony on the outside. Hmm. Okay. Check that. We're not gonna do these. Okay. Yeah. Still undecided on my window design. 
Let's, uh... You know what, let's just do the, uh... Just do the, the doorway for now. Actually, maybe I can make this work. In which I can basically just slide logs in. Like that. Close that gap. Kind of force my hand on this side, though. Where I should have to build this wall up. So that I can create that little half wall space here to center it. Okay, nice. That'll work. And then on this side, actually, we can do the same thing where we just kind of sneak some of the poles in. We want to stay consistent with that uh, log look. We do. All right, there we go. That allows us to keep consistent with the the uh, the log. I think we're just going to kind of maybe leave them open and then use like some of the wood shutters here, angle them here. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. It's simple. Just kind of what we're going for with this build. Just keep it simple, and uh, kind of a simple classic look. Maybe one far. Yeah, I think that should be the right height. Okay, so the structure is kind of complete here. Let's just get some of these final details in, I suppose. Right, just bring this out a little bit. We'll just use the one meter floors there. And I feel like this, should this be closed up a little bit? Like we we throw in some corner pieces here. Yeah, that makes sense. Perhaps we use yeah some of the cage wall. And maybe this side's actually a little bit more walled off completely. So I think yeah, maybe we'll leave a little bit of an opening kind of like midway up. But yeah, I don't want it to be like the balcony on the other side. So we'll do that. And then maybe just like, yeah, we'll just seal up the rest of it. Nice. Okay. And then we'll, as we gotta put out this floor all the way. And I'm not sure what this attic space is gonna be. It might just be like storage, maybe bedrooms. We'll see. But yeah, maybe we have a couple of uh, posts there. And then maybe as a decorative bit, we just. I think that might look kind of nice if we put these on the trim here. Maybe we do that on the bottom as well. Just give it a little bit more texture. I think I like that. What we'll do about this side actually? Is this I technically make this another like seeker balcony. So if I walk through here. Oh, I could. I'll do that then. It's uh, like a tiny little balcony out here. Okay, yeah, I think that's that's nice. It's a nice, nice little spot right here. I like that. Okay, maybe I have some of these sticking out as well. Just like these cross beams run all the way through the roof. Uh, I really don't want that. We only, we only have them at the top. That'll wear, that's where we'll hang some of the uh, hanging torches. So let's do that. We'll definitely have some hanging torches up here. Put those in right now, actually. Nice. Like that, put it on the other side. Like that. And one here as well. Cool. Like that. And actually, you know what? 
Let's just wrap it. We'll wrap it through there. Maybe just a little stairway on the back right here as well. Alright, cool. Because then I can run all the way through here. Like that. Uh, there'll be a small window on this side. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try to make it work here. Okay, so it does leave this awkward spot. Which we won't be able to fill in with logs. Because... Oh, hello, Skelsey. Bye. It's not exactly gonna fit. So, you know what? Maybe just for those, we'll cover it up with the wood wall. So it's not gonna be perfect, but... I'd rather have the window here, I think. Plus, we'll just cover it by those shutters, for the most part, anyway. It is a workaround. It's not perfect, but I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. It doesn't really detract from the build that much. All right. Honestly, we don't need these. These just make it bumpy as I try to walk across, so I'm going to take these out. All right, nice. Getting a very uh, kind of classic cabin feel here. I like it. Oh, and actually, we gotta finish up this uh, chimney. Just need to make sure that's covered here. So let me just. We'll do that. So that should cover it, technically protect it. And then, yeah, this will be our chimney. We'll throw some of the crosses here. No, that's a little much. Just normal. Normal pattern. Okay, there we go. Okay, there. So the chimney, I think the chimney looks decent there. Ooh, actually, what I want to do here as well is probably bring those out. And I'll do that on this side as well. Nice. Okay, really liking, really liking the look of that. Alright, guys. And so with that, I think our woodcutter's cabin is complete. So it's not a super complex structure. But again, it has a really classic cabin in the woods feel, and I really like the way it turned out. You know, I think some of these smaller structures, you know, they're not going to blow anyone's socks off, but they do have a ton of charm to them. And can't wait to actually go ahead and decorate this one. I think it's going to be actually super cozy. Again, just, I think it's well thought out and kind of has a really classic feel. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please make sure you like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.